let us consider the circuit diagram here and depending on the truth table we know that the, all the flip flops are in toggle mode because they are in asynchronous manner so output of A is going to be give the clock for B output for QB output of flip flop B is the clock for C and what are the outputs of states we are going to observe on that will be on QA, QB, QC so what we will do here to these points we will connect the three LEDs to them and this will be QC, QB and QA so these three LEDs will indicate the output positions okay according to the states now what I have drawn here is the output logic that is nothing but Y is equal to and which is shorted to the reset pulse which are given to the clear terminals whereas preset terminals are kept open and we all know that all the flip flops are in toggle mode since there is a JK input provided and both the inputs are shorted so it will be toggle A input, toggle B input or toggle C input and now depending on this how we are going to calculate the mod N counter and how we are going to divide the clock frequency by the number N we will see in the timing diagram of this counter or this circuit diagram so for timing diagram here is a timing diagram clock pulse is given there are total 9 cycles and we know that for clock A that is the number output QA the clock is directly connected to A that's why what will happen since the clock is bubbled input for each falling edge QA will change so I will identify the falling edges and for the QA will change according to the falling edges so QA will change for the each falling edge so it will be first QA will be 0 because the set state is 0 0 0 so QA will be 0 it will move to 1 again 0 depending on QA whenever the QA falls that is the falling edge of the QA QB will be changed so I will identify the falling edges of A because QB is going to change dependent on QA so QB will be 0 till the first clock is detected after that QB will be 1 after that it will go to 0 once again for the falling edges of QB QC will change so this is only for one falling edge there so QC will remain 0 in the reset state of C and when the first falling edge of QB is detected it will move to 1 by the time what will happen I will draw here Y so there is a 1 level for Y and 0 level is here so till this time QC is 0 0 0 QC QB QA that was our root table according to the states this will be 0 0 1 first state second state third state and fourth state so these are all the valid states